Hi friends, it's Mrs. Loomis with today's story called Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rothman. Monday was Ruby's first day in Miss Hart's class. Class, this is Ruby, announced Miss Hart. Ruby, you may use the empty desk behind Angela. Angela is the girl with the pretty red bow in her hair. Here's Ruby coming to class. There's Angela with her pretty bow. And there's Ruby's desk. Angela smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Angela's bow and tiptoed to her seat. I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend, said Miss Hart. Does anyone have something to share? I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, said Angela. That's exciting, said Miss Hart. Ruby raised her hand halfway. I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, too. What a coincidence, said Miss Hart. Angela turned and smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at the top of Angela's head. Class, please take out your reading books, said Miss Hart. Ruby sure loves Angela's bow. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped all the way home on one foot. When Ruby came back to school, she was wearing a red bow in her hair. Oh, look at that. She slid into her seat behind Angela. I like your bow, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. Class, please take out your math books, said Miss Hart. On Tuesday morning, Angela wore a sweater with daisies on it. Look at her sweater, how pretty. Oh, Ruby liked it so much, she was painting the same flowers. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped home sideways. She's a very tricky hopper. When Ruby came back to school after lunch, she was wearing a sweater with daisies on it. But look at her daisies. Her daisies are pinned on. I like your sweater, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. On Wednesday, Angela wore a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. After lunch, Ruby hopped back to school wearing a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. So here's Angela's outfit and here's Ruby's outfit. Why are you sitting like that? whispered Angela. Wet paint, said Ruby. So her shirt and her feet are still wet and she still has paint on her fingers. On Thursday morning during sharing time, Angela modeled the flower girl dress she wore at her sister's wedding. Didn't she look pretty? Ruby modeled her flower girl dress too, right after lunch. She came back to school with another dress on. Angela didn't whisper anything. Look at Angela. She doesn't look very happy with Ruby copying everything she's doing. By coincidence, on Friday morning, 
Both girls wore red and lavender striped dresses. Well, that was by accident, but they wore the same things. At lunchtime, Angela raced home. Hmm, what do you think she might do? When Angela came back to school, she was wearing black. Why do you think Angela changed her dress? On Friday afternoon, Miss Hart asked everyone to write a short poem. Who would like to read first? Asked Miss Hart. Angela raised her hand. She stood by her desk and read, I had a cat I could not see because it stayed in back of me. It was a very loyal pet. It's sad, we never really met. That was very good, said Miss Hart. Now who's next? Miss Hart looked around the room. Ruby? What do you think might happen next? Here's Ruby. Ruby stood and recited slowly. I had a nice pet who I never met because it always stayed behind me and I'm sure it was a cat too. Look at Mrs. Hart, Miss Hart. Ruby smiled at the back of Angela's head. Someone whispered, Ruby sat down. What a coincidence, murmured Miss Hart. Do you think Miss Hart really thinks it's a coincidence that Ruby's poem is almost the same one as Angela's? Hmm. What's the next page? Angela scribbled something on a piece of paper. She passed it to Ruby. The note said, you copied me. I'm telling Miss Hart. P.S. I hate your hair that way. Oh. Poor Ruby. Ruby buried her chin in the collar of her blouse. A big tear rolled down her nose and plopped onto the note. When the bell rang, Miss Hart sent everyone home except Ruby. Ruby. Miss Hart closed the door of the schoolroom and sat on the edge of Ruby's desk. Ruby, dear, she said gently, you don't need to copy everything Angela does. You can be anything you want to be. But be Ruby first. I like Ruby. Miss Hart smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Miss Hart's beautiful polished fingernails. Have a nice weekend, said Miss Hart. Have a nice weekend, said Ruby. What do you think Ruby will do next? On Monday morning, Miss Hart said, I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend. I did. I went to the opera. Miss Hart looked around the room. Does anyone else have something to share? Ruby waved her hand. Glued to every finger was a pink plastic fingernail. I went to the opera too, said Ruby. She did not, whispered Angela. Oh, boy. Miss Hart folded her hands and looked very serious. Ruby, dear, said Miss Hart gently, did you do anything else this weekend? Ruby peeled off a fingernail. 
I hopped, said Ruby. The class giggled. Ruby's ears turned red. But I did. I hopped around the picnic table 10 times. Ruby looked around the room. Watch. Ruby sprang from her desk. She hopped forward, she hopped backwards. She hopped sideways with both eyes shut. The class cheered and clapped their hands to the beat of Ruby's feet. Ruby was the best hopper they had ever seen. Miss Hart turned on the tape player and said, follow the leader, do the Ruby hop. So Ruby led the class around the room while everyone copied her. And at noon, Ruby and Ange Angela hopped home for lunch. I love that story. Ruby found out that she could be herself and she doesn't have to copy anyone because being yourself is always the best. I hope you like the story. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.